You've already learned how to tell the time to one minute. In this lesson, you'll choose the clock that shows the time shown here. The time shown is 7.27. These are the choices. First, we see that all of these clocks show 7 hours. That means we need to find the one that shows 27 minutes. We know that 27 minutes is less than 30 minutes, which is here. That means we're looking for a long hand that points to a number on this side of the clock. On these two clocks, the long hand points to a number less than 30. So the answer is one of these. On this clock, the long hand points to 2 minutes after 15, which is 17 minutes. So it's not the right answer. On this clock, we start counting here. 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. The long hand points to 27 minutes. This shows 727. So we choose this clock. Another one. It shows 138. Here are the choices. First, we find any clocks that show one hour. These two clocks show two hours. So they are not the correct answer. These two clocks show one hour. On this clock, the minute hand shows more than 45 minutes, which is here. So it can't be 38 minutes. On this clock, the long hand is after the 30 minute mark. This is 35 minutes. And this is three more minutes. So this is 38 minutes. The time shown is 138. So this clock is the correct answer. Last one, 858. These are our choices. Let's start with the minutes. 58 is only 2 less than 60, so the long hand will be very close to 60 minutes, which is at 12 hours. We can see right away that two of these clocks don't show 58 minutes. But both of these clocks do show 58 minutes. Which one is correct? On this clock, the shorthand is very close to 8. But this shows 7 hours, not 8 hours. Remember that the hour is the last hour before the shorthand. This means this clock shows the time 8.58. So that's the correct answer. In the rest of this lesson, you'll read a clock like this and enter the time it shows.